This is my review of the Clear Choice app. It, we have it on Fire Stick. I believe you can also use it on other Android devices as well as Roku. I'm, but I'm not an expert in that, so I can't tell you for sure. But you've probably been researching, researching this some on your own and know a few things about it, but you'd like to confirm some other things. I'm going to go over a, just a couple basics of it, and not very in-depth, and then I'm going to tell you the problems that I have with it uh, so you can confirm what you've been hearing about this. We got off uh, satellite like a year ago. It got too, too expensive. Even the basic plans were running 70 bucks a month. And this runs us like $10 a month. We prepay for a year. It looks like now they're about $20 uh, a month. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough for getting the set up with the right people and the right deal. But price may have increased since we started. I just wanted to warn you about that. Now, there at the bottom, you see we're on home. I can go to channels. I'm just showing you kind of how this stuff is set up. And then there at the top is now as we scroll through, the, is how we scroll through channels. This one has 164 channels in this first grouping. You can set some favorites by clicking a little heart within the channel as you're watching it. And here's sports channels, premium movie channels, HBO, and so forth. So this has a lot of stuff on it. It doesn't work particularly well if you have slow internet, it gets kind of glitchy. But the DVR function works well when you're able to actually DVR something. But unfortunately, you can't easily DVR everything. You'll see it has regional locals too, so you may even be able to find your local uh, ABC, NBC, Fox networks, and so forth. I think it probably has all of them. I can't say that for sure. And then some of these, like here, it says NFL. I don't watch football, honestly. So th this may work, it may not. But like everything listed here, there's not a game. Well, I guess there'll be a Monday Night Football game. Maybe that one's already started pregame or something. But if I click on one of these, it won't show it. So I, that's all I'm going to show you on that. But here, TV Guide, this is what will look more normal to you if you're used to satellite television. And there's the guide. Now the guide's missing things in a lot of these spots. It's not always that way, but it is sometimes. And it's hard to predict when that's going to happen. Now I can certainly click on this and watch live TV. You'll see down there in the lower right. That little box, that is what would play if I would go ahead and click on C-SPAN 2 here. Uh, and also, it's not playing very well because my internet's slow. So I could click on that and watch it. Or if it's one of the stations that allows recordings to your own DVR uh, right in the Fire Stick, I could click over here and hit record and record this below deck. Uh, and that's one of my beefs with this. Like, for instance, I want to record Discovery Channel starting at 6 o'clock tonight. But you can see there's no guide for that. I could certainly watch it live. And um, that would be it. I cannot record the live TV. I can only record stuff into the future directly onto my Fire Stick. And because it's not appearing in guide, I can't record it. And I can't refresh this and force the guide to refresh. It's just not in there. It's not going to work. The alternative might be... And the other thing about the DVR, it's not like you can say, I want this set this DVR to record every week at 6 p.m. Or I want it to record all new episodes of uh, Young Sheldon or Blackish or whatever's, you know, whatever station that you normally watch or whatever show you normally watch. You can't just schedule it to record new episodes. But one feature that is pretty slick, we're going to go back home here, but it's definitely not quite as nice as the DVRs on your satellite were. You go here to Catch Up TV, and this is here where like 36 hours past these shows that were recorded on all these stations. Not every station, but all these stations it keeps 36 hours worth of recordings back. 
I don't know if that's a hard and fast rule, always 36 hours, but it certainly seems to be pretty consistent here. And I can scroll through and find Discovery Channel, which has the show that I wanted to watch. And after that show's done, there should be a recording on here. The catch is, is I can't go in here and then download this to my own DVR. I have to watch it on this catch-up TV. I can fast forward through commercials and all that like normal, but uh, I cannot put it on my own DVR. So if I can't watch it within 36 hours, it's gone. I won't be able to get back to it later. The other issue with this catch-up TV is if you hit the wrong button and back out too far in the middle of watching a show, it will put you all the way back into the A's. You can't go straight to the letter of the alphabet that you want. We're going back in here. It's going to dump us back where we were. And if that show isn't, you know, if, you'll still have to scroll all the way down. So if that show just played, you'll have to scroll over to it and then scroll all the way down to the show that just played to be able to watch that show again. So that's another issue we have with it. Here's where recordings are. I've only got one thing recorded in there. When it's on the Fire Stick, you only get 30 gigs of recordings, and that's about 30 hours of television. So you do have to be pretty active and watching everything. You know, on your your dish dish network's probably recording three, four, five hundred hours worth of stuff by now. So that is something else you have to keep in mind. Hopefully, this use is useful to you. Uh, if you like it, thumbs up. If uh, you want to subscribe and give me a pity subscription, I'll take that too. I need subscribers to get monetized. i got plenty of viewing hours, but not enough subscribers. Thanks.